Okay, so this video is going to be like two flies in one. What do I mean by that? I mean, I'm going to catch two flies with one snap of the finger. I'm doing two videos in one, basically. First, I'm going to uh, show my friend and subscriber, Martin... I forgot his last name, but it's uh, Martin something. I apologize for not remembering your last name. It's Martin something. And he asked, how do I take a 4K HDR screenshot from my uh, Xbox One X HDR games? He wants to be able to capture the 4K HDR screenshot. So I'm going to show him how to do that. That's going to be the first video, part of this whole one video. Then the second part is going to be me to show you some settings uh, and what type of settings I'm using on the Xbox One X to avoid that ridiculous gamma issues that are present, especially in the OLED. So two different videos in one. So first thing first, let me go ahead, let me help him out, let me show him on how to make sure that you can capture 4K HDR screenshot. This is also going to be useful for some of you who don't know how to do this. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's do this. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to press this home button right here on the Xbox One X. You press it. It's going to bring up this vertical bar right here that we are all familiar with Microsoft's uh, Xbox Windows style bar. Uh, once you click on that, then you want to go to the top right here. On this top bar you want to scroll all the way right here where you see this broadcast icon you want to go there and from there here you can check your capture you can capture a screenshot or you can look at your recent captures or you can go to, to the advanced settings right here and you can make sure that your microphone is on. You can make sure that your microphone volume is set to a certain volume level. And at the same time, right here, you can see that everything's uh, checked marked. That you can allow the game captures. You can record duration for 30 seconds. And also make sure that your game clip resolution is 4K HDR. Once you have this selected, you know that you can take an HDR 4k clip whether it's a screenshot or whether it's a 30 second 4k hdr clip all right so this is how you know me personally i don't use this because i have aver media so i can capture 4k hdr in the best possible quality on my pc you guys see me do that but for those of you who don't have that, which these uh, external graphics cards are very... Not, I mean, I don't mean the graphics cards. These capture cards are very expensive. They go up from $300 to $400. They're not, they're not cheap. And you also need a beefy computer uh, uh, to take the advantage of that. Now, this right here at the bottom, this is something you can use whether you want to transfer the data from your USB stick. Remember, you cannot... Uh, transfer all the screenshots to your external hard drive your external hard drive it's only for the video games and come on microsoft you don't you think it's about time that you allow us with the update to be able to put our screenshots on the external hard drive this it's for your usb thumbstick your usb uh, thumbstick and you can plug it in a 16 gigabyte or, or 32 gigabyte usb thumbstick you plug it into the xbox one x usb 3.0 and from there, you can transfer all your screenshots, all your little 30-second um, clips that you recorded. Then you can put it to your video editing on your PC, and then you can put the whole thing together. All right? So now, let's go ahead and uh, let's also double-check another thing. Go to the settings. Go to the display and sound. Go to the video output. Just make sure that you are using 4K, that you have a 4K resolution. Go to the uh, the video modes. On the video modes, it's going to let you know that you have uh, checked marked the 4K resolution, and you also have checked marked the HDR and Dolby Vision. If your television supports Dolby Vision, this will be uh, available as well. So right here, you know that you have 
4K resolution and HDR, good to go. And you also know that your capturing has checked marked the HDR capture as well. So you know that you are pretty much good to go here. Now, let's test and let's see if it works. So let's go jump into a Mortal Kombat 11 and let's see if it works. We'll take some screenshots. Now, there's two ways you can take a screenshot. You can click the uh, the home button, and you can go to the uh, broadcast, and you can go down here and select uh, capture, and you can capture that way, or the easiest way would be to hit the home button right here, hit the home button, and then hit the Y at the same time. Home button and Y. Home button and why I'm gonna do that right now okay like here's the uh, the Mortal Kombat right now it's playing so I'm gonna take a screenshot I'll take a couple of screenshots right now and it should let me know that I took a screenshot All right, so I've taken some screenshots. I've taken some screenshots from the uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Now, how do you know if you have HDR? Well, first and foremost, uh, it's going to tell you to show the HDR, okay? And if it tells you to show the HDR, that means that you recorded. That means that you're taking a screenshot of the HDR. All you have to do is just uh, move your thumbstick to where it says show HDR and then click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to download it and then you're going to see HDR pop up over here. And now you know that you're taking an HDR screenshot. All right. Now, if you don't want the HDR screenshot anymore, uh, again, you use the thumbstick and you click and click on show SDR. But you have to first check the first step that I showed you. Remember, first you have to make sure that your Xbox display and sound has a HDR marked checked. It's checked marked. It's checked marked to support HDR. First you have to check that. Make sure that your Xbox has HDR checked marked. Second step, like I showed you in the beginning, you have to make sure that on your broadcast and gameplay, under the the capture advanced settings that you also have your HDR uh, check mark to shoot to to, uh, to support a 30 second 4k capture that's also included with uh, taking the photos of the HDR and it's really simple it's gonna let you know to show the HDR or not well, we can go check out another screenshot that I take in here you just go to the uh, recent captures. We can look at them. Uh, check this one. Click on it right there. And just click where it says show HDR. It's going to download it and you're going to see the HDR show up and pop up. There it is. And there's your HDR right there. Okay. So it's really not that uh difficult now this was the first video of 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 two videos that i'm doing on this one video so i'm trying to help uh somebody uh who's been at who has been asking me this uh question for quite a while i'm better explaining it to you through video than for me to be typing it to you on the comment section and this is why i do um uh, q and a's the Q&A is the best place to come and ask me these questions because on Q&A, I can answer those questions for you, okay? Or if you have a request, you can send me a request and then I'll make a video and I'll show it to you. And then you can see it for yourself on how to do it. But just remember, you need to check your television. Make sure that it has UHD color on, on that HDMI input. Make sure that your uh, Xbox One X or Xbox One S has the uh, HDR uh, check marked and also number three make sure that under capture 
and broadcast advanced settings you have 4k HDR 30 seconds capture check marked as well and once you have that then you're gonna see right here show HDR or show SDR right now we're on the SDR I mean right now when you're on the HDR we can go back to the SDR now we're in the SDR and then go back again right here where it says show HDR you click on where it says show HDR you click on it now it's gonna download you're gonna see the HDR icon there it is now you got the HDR and remember the quickest way to take a screenshot it's hit the home it's like right here it's right here hit the home button and then Y home button and why and why that's it home button and then why home button and why and you'll take as many screenshots screenshots as you want all right so my next video is going to be about um the settings for the xbox one x game mode uh and uh, i'm gonna go to the um picture mode settings here i'm gonna take you to the advanced settings really quick the advanced <coughs> controls for the oled on the Xbox One X. Guys, uh, you want to make sure that your dynamic contrast is set to low. Uh, because I have found out keeping it on a high, what it basically does, it, it really doesn't help a contrast ratio. As you all know, the Xbox One X has issues with the gamma levels. So when you select dynamic contrast to high, then your digital black levels become even more crushed. When you move it to low, they become more balanced. Okay, so I would keep it at low instead of keeping it at high. So keep it at low. And I think you can see it here. I, maybe I can bring my camera a little bit closer. You'll see just how more redefined it is when it's uh, at low instead of high. So that's the one thing I would do right there. The second thing I would do is your dynamic color. You know what, man? You want the dynamic color at low. Trust me. You want the dynamic color at low because all it does, all it does, it brightens up this image of color and it's kind of oversaturating, honestly. It took me a while to to see that and realize that, but you really don't want the dynamic color high. You want everything to be either low or medium. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, you can keep it at medium, but honestly, I would keep it at low. So keep the eye dynamic color at low, dynamic contrast at low. Wide color gamut, you can keep it at wide, obviously. And another thing that's also very important, because Xbox One X doesn't really have that great gamma levels, and uh, every HDR game looks kind of crushed with digital black levels. So uh, what I would do is I would move the black levels to high. Look how much detail you get in the background. Look at that. When you have it at high instead of low. Look how much beautiful detail you get. Now it's not being crushed. Now nothing's being crushed here. Now you get much better detail. If you keep it at low, look what happens. It looks kind of crushed. So keep it at high. Keep it at high right there. And don't worry, man. You already have OLED. You got the best possible digital black levels, man. All right. With, with this television, you already got the best digital black levels. So you don't have to worry about moving this to high. So that's what I would recommend that you do. And uh, try these settings, okay? Uh, give these settings a try and let me know what you guys think, all right? And I think it looks better. I think it looks much, much better now. This was captured in HDR. This is Mortal Kombat 11. By the way, Mortal Kombat 11 on the Xbox One X, it's running at uh, 1800p dynamic resolution, but it does scales down to 1600 
16 to 18, 16 to 18. So it's 1600 to 1800. It scales up and down, up and down, up and down. So I don't know if you guys knew that or not. And you can see it kind of looks better though, doesn't it? In my opinion, see, you can see the shadow is much better now. Uh, everything's more uh, defined, redefined. Nothing's being crushed. And that's what you want, honestly, guys. The idea is not to have your digital black levels crushed. The idea is not to have your uh, digital white levels overblown. The idea is the balance. I mean, anybody who... Okay, I've done some research on these professional calibrating uh, systems and standards. The one thing, the one thing that they're looking for, it's always been uh, the balance. The key word is the balance, and that's what they're looking for. Uh, the principal photography is always looking for that balanced picture quality. The, the the key word is the balance. What does that mean? That means that you gotta have the entire picture that you're watching be redefined in a balanced natural levels meaning the colors cannot be oversaturated the brightness has to be at a certain level that the shadows can be visible uh, the white digital the digital white levels has to be at a certain level where they're not being um, overblown so the, the key word, it's always balance, guys. And this is something that I have done a research on. And, and uh, I have spoken to some of the uh, professional calibrators. And he, and he told me pretty much, uh, the one guy I met, Magnolia, he came in to calibrate some televisions there. And he told me, yeah, that's pretty much it, brother. That's what we do. We're trying to find that balanced level on the picture quality. But he said, you know, every content is different. Uh, calibrating for the games is going to be different than calibrating for the movies or calibrating for the sports. But they all look for that uh, balanced standard, you know, in, in picture quality. All right, well, there you have it. I made two videos in one. I do try to help you guys out. You know, if you have a question, just send me a request. Let me know what you want to see and you know what issues what problems you have uh i might do another video on showing you how to clean the fan on the playstation 4 pro i think i need to clean my fan on the playstation 4 pro my old playstation 4 pro i might do that video pretty soon uh kind of go back through it again and show you how to do it and, and stuff like that and how to take the, the top part up how to, how to take it apart and how to clean it without damaging your console. So I might do that tomorrow. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, this was done by a request. So I did two videos in one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As far as the live streams, there will be a live stream, but I don't know what I'm going to do it. Probably tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Uh, the best thing to do, keep an eye on my community feed. My community feed is the best place for you to know what I am doing next. I will never do a live stream without letting you know on my community feed first. My community feed is the place you go to, to find out. Other than that, well, thank you guys for watching and I hope that this video was helpful to you. Because this is the main reason why I made this video, is to help you. Instead of me writing on a comment, I think it's better if I just do a video and show it to you like this. All right, guys. So if you have any questions, uh, send me a request. Let me know what 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 do you want to see, what are you interested in, what I can help you with, in terms of you know the the settings and whatnot. Uh, send in a request, whether my community feed or on my comment sections i would just leave it on the comment sections guys because uh my playstation and my xbox is just over flooding with way too many people way too many people man thousands of people coming in coming in coming in guys uh i just can't dude like my playstation is like almost barely it's able to even use the user interface because of so many messages uh 
YouTube comment sections. Leave your comments there. I'll see him when I see him. Don't worry about it. Just leave a comment on, on the video. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And thank you for understanding. Take care.